Hey y'all, this is Daniel the Mole Man Smith coming to you from a friend's house that had a little water leak and some mold grew underneath the floor and I'm basically helping him clean it up. So uh, basically what you want to do is clean out, this was a laundry room, so basically you want to clean out, make sure you have a nice clear space, um, took out laminate floor. He has two layers of uh, one little small plywood and then a subfloor underneath. We're going to go into the crawl space to see what's affected. We cut open the little bit of the drywall so that uh, once he gets his baseboards, he can still put his baseboards back up and he won't have to do any extra drywall. Uh, the inside of the, the inside walls were not affected. Everything was here. So we basically are going through the cleaning stages. We sprayed hydrogen peroxide down and now we're wiping it clean. All right, we're at phase two, done some cleaning. So uh, you wanna make sure you wear a mask N95 or N100. You wanna cut enough away to where you don't see any more fungal growth. You wanna make sure you clean all exposed surfaces. I'm going to spray with hydrogen peroxide it will foam up in the beginning then after it has done its job it will lighten up the color because mold does cause discoloration so spray it in the seal plate Let it sit for a little bit so it can absorb. Um, and then I get a microfiber cloth. Microfiber is real good because it collects a lot of the dust and the dirt. So I'm gonna after we clean this, we're going to put a heater in here and let it dry. We turn off or seal the air conditioned vent so that no air is blowing to keep from cross contamination. That is one way to recontaminate an environment is with the air conditioned system on. So we'll go over this a few times just to make sure that most of the stain is out, most of the color. And then we will treat it with the antimicrobial to let it dry. I typically will use three to four rags until one is damaged. Then after I clean once, so I always spray in between my cleanings with hydrogen peroxide so that it can tell me what areas are still have some type of fungal growth in it. So what I'm gonna do here is just basically let it sit for about five to seven minutes and pretty much see what happens from there. All right, guys, we're back. So our areas are still foaming, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two more wipes just to get it clean. Make sure everything. Sometimes you may run into where staining is not, may not come out. But as long as your hydrogen peroxide doesn't foam when you spray it, then you should be good. So you always want to use that as your indicator because the protein that causes hydrogen peroxide to react in our skin, it's the same protein that is found 
in some modes. So that's why I use the indicator. Because it lets me know if it's still there. If there is nothing organic or nothing there to react, then it won't foam up. Just a little something I learned along the way. Everyone may not agree with it, but it works for me. Fiber wipe just to make sure we got the access. As you can tell, they've had some water issues. Look at the nails, they're rusted. So, that's the indicator to let you know this was a problem that's been going on for a while. And if you take up the laminate floor before you call your insurance agency. Your agent may notice that and say this is a long-term problem. Yes, they deem mold remediation based on long-term or short-term water leaks, signs. So if you're gonna call your agent, make sure you do it sooner than later. You don't want them to deny you of a claim. Alright. We pretty much finished up in here. So we're gonna put our heater in here and let it dry. So if you have any questions please subscribe, like and share this channel. Uh, we do offer Hydrogen peroxide for sale. It's a little more than you can get at the grocery store, but we can drop ship it to you. I have clients using it in their washing machine just to clean if they have a front end loader. So it's a lot of benefits to it. So this is Daniel the Mold Man Smith coming to you from a friend's home that we help clean up some mold. And uh just we thank you for tuning in and remember we're the company that's bringing a solution to the pollution <laughs>